Higher. Lower. Take one. The Luxley Show is real good fun with two great hosts, not just the one. With a shelf of love and awful jokes, I tune in each week, and so should you folks. So our ferry is just about to come on in, and we are in the queue. This is the A team. There we go. There's Hannibal. Uh, no, sorry, there's Hannibal, and uh, there's uh, B.A. Baracus. Or are you going to be Murdoch? I don't know the A team on two. Okay, uh, I'll be the face man, obviously. And uh, these two guys, oh, you've just got, oh, they've packed up. They were deck chairing it right outside their car, waiting for the ferry. So uh, we are nearly ready to embark on our Glastonbury journey. Woo! Where's Nod? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Homer's first three-lane road. Look at that. How fast are we going to break Homer? We're doing 50. There's a speed camera. Don't don't get Homer's first speed ticket. It might happen. You don't know. <laughs> I've seen Jenny drive before. <laughs> That's the Bray. Woo! Woo! Welcome to this week's riddle. This is Glastonbury shopping. We need to now get that into here. If anyone can come up with any interesting suggestions how we can get this here. I want to hear the answers. You see that? Can't see anymore. Where is it? There it is. Gorgeous windmill. Look at that. In the distance, spinning around. What's wrong with windmills? They look gorgeous. Oh no. <laughs> Doesn't she look very beautiful? Look her Glastonbury shades on, look at that. That is a model pose right there. You could be on the front of an animal magazine or something, look at this. What, an an what, what kind of animal? What yeah. are you implying? Well, I, well, I, yeah, okay. I meant your shop that you oh, work right. in, all right. <laughs> Just generally any animal. Like a, a hippo! <laughs> hippo Weekly! Yeah. Sleep so rudely me. Sorry, Sloth Monthly. Yeah. At least you didn't use my mouth for some ashtray. That's like what happened last time I fell asleep <gasps> on a road trip. I someone, did not no, do they that. actually did use my mouth as an ashtray. It was horrible. Was it deserved? Well, well no, I was just falling asleep. Oh, oh, well, did you have I've your shoes on? Asleep, and actually, did you what have, would happen did you you have your before? shoes on? Curly Kale with that. There is less sheep. Look at, sheep. Sheep. Look at There's a black one in there somewhere. Where is it? There it is. There it is. Still black sheep. Well, he's been... Thank you. We are on our way to Glastonbury. This is the dreaded queue on Pilton Farm, and we are arriving at approximately. What does that say? Three thirty. Three thirty-eight. Three thirty-eight. Into the queue, so we'll see what we can do. So, for those of you who are thinking about breaking in like the old door days of Glastonbury, this is the the wall. Uh, and this this well, this I don't even think that's the wall. Is that the wall? No, you've got one inside, oh yeah, there's an even bigger wall than that. So that's like the first wall. So if you think you can do a 12 foot jump and then go for a rather large jump, we'll show you the big wall in a minute. Then uh, good luck to you. We have a taste of joy for all. Uh, yeah, it's 10 miles an hour today. Uh, goes down to Walking Pace on Wednesday. Uh, no drink, no drive, no. Sorry, no. <laughs> <laughs> no drugs or drinking whilst driving or working. Uh, if you need to get a set of figures, please call the area manager first and do an appropriate risk assessment. And please use your waste and toilet facilities provided. And I'm sorry, I swore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mate. Hiya, alright. This is your ticket, sir. Yeah. <laughs> what? Are you worried about the Armenians that were hiding underneath the shopping? <laughs> <laughs> that there is the homeopathy bus. And uh, they got stopped because uh, they said, Have you got your pills on board? And he said, Yeah. And that's a bad move. <laughs> they got thousands. She's spraying it up. There's the woman with our car pass. We're all checked. This is the last bit. We're all ready to go. She's coming on. There you go, and then you're good to go. Thank you very much. 
winner and we're off. Thank you, I'll see you soon. Glastonbury, let's go. This here is the 12 foot wall. Is it 12 foot? No, that is not 12. Oh, actually. I don't know, that guy's six foot and it's about two of him, so yeah. That guy's six foot, can you tell from the Yes, I can, I think that's probably about six foot. Yeah, I reckon that's a 12 foot wall, but it has got a slight overhang, remember? Okay. And we Oh, look, the ash tree gate, there we go. I know, it's amazing for today. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's it, metal. It's slated together, it's stacked in the ground, um, it's got an overhang. So, whether a grappling hook and people would be able to do it is uh, beyond me. But there is cameras that patrol. And, uh, and uh, I believe there's a second fence on the other side, but I couldn't tell you until we get the other side of it. Ooh, exciting. Here we go, here we go. This is into the 12-foot fence area. Look at that. We're in. So this is the other side. So there is uh, a massive, massive pile of bins, which uh, some of them will be painted, and they'll look beautiful, and they'll be all on display within the next few days. And then we turn down this road here. Towards, yeah, that's it. And then you've got the pyramid field should be on the right hand side. Can you see it? Can you see it? There it is. There it is. Can't bloody see anything. You've got trees in the way. Look at that. There's trees. There's trees. There, there it is. is that oh, there's the a main tree. Stone? There's a tree. Look, is that? A, yeah, that. <laughs> right where the tree is. Behind the tree. <laughs> no, behind the tree. Behind the tree. That's the main stage, is it? That's the yeah. Yeah. That pyramid stage is the main one. You can't, you can't see it for top of you right now, hang on. We have arrived, this is our slot, look, this is the little hut next to us. This is henna, see, henna, right? But check this, check this, check this. St Valentine's licorice Rory stalls here, look at that! It's convenient, look at that. There's the Shiva I team, it's Lisa, there she is. How are you, how are you? And the setup begins. Part one, erection complete. Second erection, not too good. It's a bit limp, isn't it? It's going to go up in a minute, but we need to get the drapey, drapey doodars. <laughs> we are set up. Well, as good as we can be with all the stall that we've got. Uh, and then there you go, look at that palace. And you can see that Leah's tent slightly encroaches onto the uh, Valentine Grace. But that's all right, because she's working there. It's all good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is my wristband. Woo! Oh no, our neighbours have turned up. That's our neighbour from hell. Yay! <laughs> that is sunset at Glastonbury. On the Sunday before Glastonbury, behind the other stage, at our lovely stall, where neighbours are moving in. Jenny's trying to fix Homer, and she's looking at the fuses. That there is a flame grill whopper. Not not the dude, but the yeah. <laughs> Terrible shot. That is one of the best milkshake places uh, at festivals that you'll find. I used to hang around with a girl called Nancy, uh, and uh, all the guys and the guys that do the milkshakes, they're pretty sound. So if ever you need a milkshake at a festival, these are the guys to see. And there's loud. Over there, the guys over there, Simon runs that still, and all of his crew, they're really cool. If any of you need some uh, festival bracelets, funky hats, a couple of crazy t-shirts, anything £1, £3, £5, that type of thing, you want to go and see the guys over at Loud. Look for the umbrellas or the elephants. And just see the bandstand through those trees over there. And then this is going away from the pyramid stage. And you can see the big red bus where they do teas and cakes. And there's uh, some fantastic food places down here that place there does cheesecake and they always do like half price on the last day as well so remember that team and uh, over here if you get cold in any way shape or form you want to go and check out jock darren and the team at the honchos now these guys will sort you out with loads of stuff they've got t-shirts burg house bags timberland boots all sorts of bits all manner of things and especially Honchos. A lot of you see me wearing these V-dub honchos and you can get honcho trousers, you can get proper honcho ponchos and uh, sleeping bags, you name it. They've got it all in here. So come and check out Jock and the Honchos. There, I've met my biggest fan. 
<laughs> no, not Jacob, the, 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 the fan. <laughs> it's because it's a fan. It's, yeah, it's not funny if I have to explain it, does it? No. Do you need things made out of felt or amazing leather bound journals built and made in beautiful ethnic foreign countries at fair trade prices? Because if you do, you want to try out Paper High. These guys are awesome. We're usually next door neighbours at um, places like um, Cambridge Folk Festival, Moimo, that type of thing. But they're all pretty sweet. They're all lovely people. If you see them, tell them Huxley says hello. Do you know what that is over there, Leah? That is a part erection. <laughs> Aussie Steak Sandwich Bar, that place goes off at Reading Festival. It's one of the only places that's got a really loud sound speaker system and they uh, they have quite a, a, a big crowd. They do a mean breakfast forget as well as uh, various other sausagey steak bits. Over here you've got silver and steel. Now if you want to buy any kind of silver and steel, uh, there's some bikery stuff, there's lots of skull stuff, there's lots of jewellery stuff there generally. Um, check them out, they're uh, fantastic uh, traders at, at the festival stall. And uh, yeah, very good friends of mine. Tell Fee that I send my love if you speak to him. So down here, this is on the way to the cabaret field. You've got the Cyber Witch tarot cards and Glamour Grooming Bar and the Executive Lizards. They do everything lizardy orientated dragons and stuff. And then these guys are Fairy Love. Fairy Love are wicked. If you want anything fairy, if you want to get glitter bombs, these are the girls to come see. Uh, Hang on, sorry, say that again. Your mum wants... My mum wants... They sell t-shirts that say Queen of universe and my mum really wants one so this is where we have to come yeah. they also sell tutus Ooh, and for the bigger girls three threes <laughs> this is the hurly burly they do really good mac and cheese in there full of all sorts of other good things they, they're a really tight crew uh, and every now and then you'll hear an alarm go off and all of the dance staff will get up and do a big number uh, so all the waitresses all of the servers uh, they're a hilarious bunch of people and they've got quite a strict regime to get into their crew um, so yeah um, Mitzi was one of my friends over there I don't know if she does much work with them these days but I say really nice crew if you ever want a really nice meal uh, and a good value for money and a bit of entertainment check them out and also just walked past Rosa Bloom she used to be one of the fairies and started up her own little business and she just had a little shop before and now look at that she's opened up to a double one so she's obviously doing very well and she does a trendy kitchen pretty weird and wonderful outfit stuff so check out Rosa Bloom and uh, spinning around here you can see this is the circus field so they're erecting something over there and there's a big top circus bit and a little top for the circus and another little top over there and uh, oh look at that there's a, a cocktail bar with a cage <laughs> looks as though there could be a spinning woman inside Ooh. Oh, what's see? the coolest thing that you can make out of pallets look at All that right, how good is that there you go Leah finds a mate in the middle of Glastonbury didn't think she knew anyone look at that oh this is the railway tracks and it runs all the way across the site so you've got block nine down over that way and you've got unfair ground over there and we're heading towards Shangri-La okay we can't see much of Shangri-La because it's loads under construction here but you can see a lot of political things going on over there and um, yeah over here is a common now the common does look as if it's they've jazzed it right up they really do look as if they've got a few awesome looking things there and look at that they uh, the bull ring there's got like it looks like a stage and a roof and stuff going on so it'd be interesting to see what they're going to put on it over there and then you've even got a uh, there's a massive rum shack over that one there with the pillars so yeah well done team who are doing the common it is incredible look, look it's, it's amazing Unfair ground. It's pretty sweet. It's like green orientated field, so there's no, there's not much lighting, and the lighting that is down there are all uh, solar panel -y stuff, and there's a sauna, and it's all wood burny. And so, if you want to carve a spoon, that's where you want to head. Fields of Avalon down here. So, these are the fields of Avalon. Now, the Avalon fields are supposed to be where King Arthur had Camelot so all he stomped his horses around here with his little knights and there's some gorgeous shops here and this rose here where we managed to see the bare naked ladies randomly whilst walking past and then you can see all the other tents in the distance you can see that giant helter skelter and you can even just see the back wall 
probably about a mile, mile and a half. I don't know, I'm rubbish with distances. But that is a long way away and we're only halfway up the site. So now, onwards to the Valentine licorice. Val Valen Valentine. Valentine. Saint Valentine. Saint Valentine. Oh, all right. We call this the main drag because you go down to the meeting point and St. Valentine's licorice, is that right? Have I said it right? Good. Yeah. Shepherds, they do really good ice cream, definitely check them out. And then over there, up there, is the stone circle, the sacred space. And over here, you've got the Greenpeace field, but that won't be open until I think Thursday. So you can see Greenpeace got a skate park, that's pretty much a, a staple now at most of the festivals. That looks like a pretty cool pirate ship polar bear thing and lots of showers and stuff with the, the house showers there. Over here, here, here is a tiny tea tent. Now these guys are awesome. They do damn good chai teas, coffees, chocolates, lattes, you name it. And they build lots of stuff out of wood. And they sometimes have a ship for marriage or whatever. Oh, we are here. Woo! And that is the West Holt stage, which is uh, used to be called the Jazz, Jazz World stage or Jazz Field stage. And hopefully this is where we're gonna go and see J5 on Friday night. <laughs> I know. A run of stalls here which are my friends the grand le bouffe they do these giant sausage things which leah likes she likes a damn good sausage and uh, pancakes obviously they're crepes to uh, english people smooth criminals now not only did i do really nice coffees lattes uh, frappuccinos that type of thing but obviously all the smoothies as well they are sound and uh, then good tied ins don't forget them if you want to advertise put a massive woman on top of your stool um, best coffee shop on site these guys are the friendliest group of people. They have the best coffee. They have queues going on a mile long. So jump in there if you ever see Love Coffee. Check them out. What are you eating, Leah? Weird fruit type of thing. Not licorice though, is it? <gasps> Sacrilege. She sold out. Oh yeah. Winner. That's how good she is. She cleared the stool. Hey, look, One this, man chain. You can't that you can't be the chain. You you can't you can be a link, but you can't be not from Zelda. Here we go, here we go. Oh no, and look, see that was the start of a chain, right? See and then it all went shit. What happened there? It, this is it, this is it, it's the start of the licorice chain. There it is! There it is! Oh look at this, we got a licorice chain going on. Look at, oh, there's more, there's more. Look at this, I'm getting involved, you're getting involved, I'm getting involved, ready? Look at this, check this, one-handed. Oh, I'm in the chain! on day two fixing the speakers for the other stage and it's a beautiful sunset and then this bit here this is all threatened to rain upon us but it still hasn't done oh and I should point out that this is day two of Huxley's beard growth I didn't actually bring a razor with me here to Glastonbury uh, Bury, Bury. Uh, Leah doesn't like it when I say Bury but Glastonbury and uh, so uh, this is day two and uh, progressively over the next few days you should see uh, yeah Eight days worth of Huxley's beer growth. Oh, it's, it's not going to be very much, but yeah. <laughs> well, we've made it to the Stone Circle, and uh, I think Leah described it the best when she said, Wow! <laughs> so it's hard to see with all the lights and the bits and stuff, but you have got teepee fields over there, and you've got the far edge of the site that you can just see over there in the distance. And then, all the way over there, someone jumping up there. All the way down there. Jeff is in. Ooh. This is Grant busy working. This is probably the first and the only time he'll work over the weekend, so we'd better get some footage of him doing it. 
<laughs> real work, real work. Look, people are doing real work. I haven't had Oh! I know I don't You're live on YouTube, do not swear. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I don't know, I don't think you've featured yet. Introduce yourself, what are you going to say to the world? It's weird. <laughs> Happy Jesus. <laughs> it depends what you say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite good with your I don't, beep. I don't trust what are you saying? Well, it depends. What do you want to say? Yeah. And also, oh, look what we have. Visitors. Oh. Oh, it's Aria and Rowan. Look at them go. Hello. Drop a Lucy, no, only there's only one. Only one. one. No, that's the best. I've got to go for tea. All right. Tea time. Bye. <laughs> You're live on YouTube, do not swear. Oh, <laughs> Licorice boys doing some work. <laughs> what? Where? <laughs> <laughs>